Hi, this is Wayne Crowley here from Prophecy Proof Insights. In this video, I want to go over a recent study that I did on the 24 elders of the book of Revelation. In case this is the first time you've seen me, I am the author of the book Prophecy Proof Insights of the End Times and the book Prophecy Proof Insights on the Last Generation. I like to study Bible prophecy and make Bible prophecy easy for you to understand. The 24 elders of the book of Revelation are a mysterious group. Their identity is often at the heart of rapture debates. Pre-trib supporters view the 24 elders as human beings. They believe that the presence of these human beings in heaven are proof that the rapture took place before the events of the tribulation. Those who oppose the rapture believe that the 24 elders represent heavenly beings or angelic beings. They do not view their presence in heaven as proof of the pre-tribulation rapture. The heart of the debate rests on a song the 24 elders sing in Revelation 5.9 and 5.10, which is known as the Song of the Redeemed. People who argue against pre-tribulation rapture believe that the 24 elders do not sing about themselves. They believe that there's a mistranslation in the text of the song that the 24 elders sing. Those who support the pre-trib rapture believe that the 24 elders sing about themselves. Let's compare Revelation 5, 9 and 5, 10 with the different Bible versions. Pre-tribulation rapture supporters will embrace the KGV version of Revelation 5, 9 and 5, 10. Revelation 5, 9 and 5, 10 in the KGV version indicates that Christ has redeemed the 24 elders from the earth. So pre-tribulation rapture will say, hey, Christ has got them from the earth. This must be the rapture. The rapture must have already taken place. Those who oppose pre-trib will say that the KGV version is mistranslated. The NIV version, the NASB, and other modern Bible versions is superior to Revelation 5, 9, and 5, 10. The modern versions tend to say that the 20-foot elders are singing about how Christ has redeemed people from the earth. So KGV has... The 24 elders singing about themselves, the NASB and other modern, modern versions say the 24 elders are singing about how Christ has redeemed others. When you look at non pre trib commentaries with Revelation 5, 9, and 5, 10, they almost all embrace this mistranslation argument. They almost all embrace it. You see very, very few will argue the KGV is correct. I'm not a person who embraces the pre trib rapture. However, I try to be as objective as possible when I evaluate arguments. I try to see which argument is correct. In my research of this, I actually found that Revelation 5, 9, and 5, 10 is, the KG very version of that translation is superior to the non-KGV versions. Particularly with Revelation 5, 9, I found that 23 of 24 Greek manuscripts support the KGV version of Revelation 5, 9, where the 24 elders are singing about how Christ redeemed them. That's a huge problem for those who oppose pre-trib because almost all arguments rest on how Revelation 5, 9, and 5, 10 is mistranslated in the KGV version. With the 24 elders singing about themselves in Revelation 5, 9, this implies that they are human because Christ redeemed people with his sacrifice upon the cross. He didn't redeem angels or heavenly beings. They didn't need redeeming. Christ redeemed people. So that is a major issue for those who oppose the pre-trib rapture. Does this mean that the 24 elders in heaven are proof that the rapture will take place before the start of the tribulation? My answer is no. The 24 elders are pictured wearing golden crowns. Pre-trip supporters say that these are the rewards the elders will receive after the rapture. However, the evidence does not support this explanation. The rewards the righteous will receive won't be given until after the tribulation. How do we know this? Revelation 11, 15 to 19 record the events following the sounding of the seventh trumpet. The seventh trumpet is, a, is an event that takes place at the end of the tribulation. Many key events happen with the sounding of the seventh trumpet, including Christ gaining his kingdom on the earth and the end of the reign of the Antichrist. One of the things that is mentioned in the seventh trumpet is that it is now time for the dead to be judged and the servants and prophets to be rewarded. This indicates that the righteous 
receive the rewards after the sounding of the seventh trumpet. This suggests that the rapture hasn't taken place yet when the 24 elders appear because they still await their rewards. So we know the 24 elders are human, yet they have not received their rewards yet. So where did they come from? How are there humans in heaven before the rapture? I believe the answer to this lies in Matthew 27, 52 and 53. This passage tells us that there was a group of resurrected saints who rose from the dead when Christ rose from the dead. They appeared along with Christ to, to people. Matthew 27, 53 mentions that they appeared to, in Jerusalem and appeared to many. I believe that these people were resurrected like Christ was resur resurrected. I would actually consider them part of the first fruits of the resurrection that the Apostle Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians 15. I believe at some point they joined Christ in heaven when, after Christ ascended. I don't believe these people died off again like Lazarus did. So we likely know where the 24 elders come from, but what do they represent? In an article I published on my website, I go into detail about why I believe the 24 elders represent the order of Melchizedek. And I even argue that Melchizedek is one of the 24 elders. If you're interested, you can read my study at prophecyproof.org. I hope you found this video insightful. Take care. I'll see you again soon.